All right, what's up, guys? I'm Bryce. I'm Rob. And I'm Zuff. And we are real time. Today, we got Anne with an E, Season 2, Episode 2. This one is called <clears throat> Signs Are Small Measurable Things, But Interpretations Are Illimitable. So, that that's an awesome title. Hopefully, that fits in the YouTube title. But yeah, last episode, we got introduced to Season 2, met some of these characters again, like mainly the two, Nate and Mr what is his name nate and oh yeah i forget he, his name it's like mr so, mr something he's in Degrassi. i think mr dunlop yeah dunlop, yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. it 100%. that is so, i know it's that those two are boarding with and we were kind of like wondering what are their intentions we know they're bad people but like what exactly are they trying to do and we found out that they're pretty much just trying to scam everyone being like there's gold in the ground in the soil uh pay pay me and, and i'll send the the test to new york or whatever they have that whole little scripted monologue or dialogue that was crazy in there. everybody fell for it yeah like they're getting finessed right now but it's nice that they took a little time jump there and matthew seems to be back and going at it again because obviously he had that heart attack at the end of last season we kind of i think skipped over the recovery process which is pretty cool i'm sure he's not 100 percent still he still is an older man but i'm glad he's uh back doing work and stuff yeah, but these two men, Nate and Mr. Dunlop, are just absolutely conning uh, the whole Avonlea. Avonlea. And I just think, I mean, they might get away with it, but Anne has been doing some snooping. And at the end, obviously, he put a hair on his, um, Nate put a hair on his like chest. little chest. Yeah, and uh, I don't know. Chest I, hair, I, I, call I it. think, um, yeah. I think <laughs> I think he's gonna get caught, or she's Anne's gonna get caught by him. I don't even know. Like he, he like lashes out and gets aggressive sometimes. So I want to see him in his downfall. But honestly, Dunlop, I I can see him becoming part of the family and actually, um, because he he does have a heart, like one of you said, and I feel like he could become one of the better ones. Yeah, but Gilbert is off on a ship. He's working. I mean, he's just shoveling coal into the ship and very far away from him. Anne wants to write him a letter, though. That's why she was uh, scrounging around in Nate's closet. But we he actually met. We met a new guy. I forget his name. I don't know if we got his it. friend. Yeah, I know because everybody was Almost gassing there. him up in the comments. He's a Degrassi yeah. guy. Yeah, the actor wasn't Degrassi, it was Liberty's brother, if I'm not mistaken. Because I googled it. Hold it up. That's pretty cool, though. I'm excited to see where Gilbert brings us. I think he's going to come back, try to mine some fake gold, and we'll see what happens. All right, guys, that's pretty much it, though. Before we get into this episode, if you guys have been enjoying all these and with any reactions, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our links in the description. We got our Patreon, Discord, social medias, and the address to our PO box down there. But yeah, let's get into it. Season 2, Episode 2 of And With An E. Let's go. Wow, this place looks amazing. Just the beginning, my friend. Ash. Is that his name? Yeah. Yes, I'm very happy to be home. But you, you'll cry when you have to leave. Trinidad will get into your soul. Trinidad. Where is that? No, no, no. It's like an island, isn't it? I had no idea such a place could exist. Then you never thought you'd find yourself this far from... Okay, what is the name again? Avonlea. All these smells are making me hungry. You have anything good to eat <laughs> up on Prince Edward? I like potatoes. <laughs> Dude, Gilbert's just saying crazy lines right now. <laughs> I like potatoes. <laughs> she boiled on a pile of dashing leaves and coconut milk. Throw in some onions, garlic, okra, a big tail. Um, this is sounding good to me. Uh -huh. You're allergic. I've eaten crab meat before. I tip my head back and she feed me a spoonful. But it was always just the one taste. Then she served the family. Was it my family? Whose family was it? <laughs> The white people she would. Hmm. Like an idiot. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Don't be. So got more flavor from one spoonful every Sunday than you had in your hood. <laughs> Since you're already sniffing around my horse, go into the stable and fetch us some feed. I am a free man, sir. Since 1834. That was messed up. He just assumed you were a servant. Reading about gold is perfectly wonderful, but it would be even more wonderful if I could. See it? But you can't because that boy Nate, what is he? A cap. Beat you to it. I'm not. What? It's dirt. It is gold. Isn't it, dear? It's not your fault, Pipsqueak. 
In fact, it's mine and... Oh, yeah, great. I can see it. Yeah, something I would understand. Oh, yes. There it is. You're right. It's exquisite. Mm. He's lying now. Well, it's just... That's how kids are. I know, I know, I know. Mm. No, I get I, it. I can, I can. I get it. Any morning we don't find ourselves in the grave, should we celebrate it? <clears throat> right indeed, Miss Maroon. I agree with Mr. Dunlop. He knows. Matthew knows. There will be no goal testing. At least not yet. Matthew and I are undecided. We could be one of the richest families in Avonlea. Matthew wouldn't have to farm anymore, and you could do it's anything. It's expensive, Anne. And we worked very hard for that harvest money. And they just want to steal it away. You can pick up a new slate from the general store after school, Anne. Now eat up, then off you go. Ah, uh, children. So precious. So expensive. <laughs> Dude, he rubs Matthew the wrong way for sure. Remember when Minnie Mae was sick and you put onions on the soles of her feet to bring her fever down? That was an old wives' tale. It takes imagination to believe in such a thing. Your imagination is a gift, Anne. Something that can yeah, she definitely has an imagination. Imagination! Crunch looks like a skeleton hand. An evil skeleton that lives in the haunted. Look at that, your imagination's coming out. Lives of the innocent. Man, yeah. that's horrible. Why are they clutching at us now? You mean to do us harm? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Diana. <laughs> I think it's actually true. It might be. Whoa. Who's drawing that? Yeah. Who is this boy? Oh my god, is that? No. <laughs> Dude, I, do you know who I thought that was? Uh, oh, that's the guy from Maze Runner. See, that's what I was saying. I don't too. think so. No, it's not. It's not. The dude that's the kid. Thomas Sangster? Yeah. He'd be so old. Hey, yeah. Throw the ball back, bud. Bud. It kind of looks like I'm the. He has a gun on him. Like not a physical gun, but like an arm. Oh. Nice arm, Rembrandt. Yeah. Wanna play? No, cool I'm Rembrandt. That sounds like a dope name. With what face after my pretext made shall I appear, O oh Queen? Whoa, Avalon. dude, he's good. Someone's ruin. That kid's ruining this sketchbook here soon. A mortal child without the. Knocking the ink over on it. He had not lost me. Oh. What have you got there? That dude sucks. What, because he wouldn't play catch with you? Are you serious? Are you doodling? While I'm tirelessly dedicating my life mm -hmm. to your education. <laughs> dude, you're fucking weird. He's a loser. It's cool, the new Gilbo. I think so. I think he's literally sitting in his seat. Uh. This guy's gonna like story or like draw the illustrations for her book. They seem like they could be a cool duo. Yay, said the queen. A moral child without the craft to rule. Else he had not lost me. I hate that too. Dude. Dude. I just hate it. What do you write? I will not draw in your class. Mm. In class. Less flourish. You're gonna need room for 50 of those. Dude, that dude needs like Punch. Matthew to freaking slap him. <laughs> I'll go. Zuff will go. Doesn't have a thing. Not one cent. I told you this is only a shortcut. Why are you walking around like, this delectable? This is I don't know, I'm getting like outer banks vibes yeah. right now. Hold this one out. It's a mango. Be fair mm. for an experience. Mm. 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 Don't swallow the skin, spit it out. He's not gonna kill me, why would I waste it? How do you know? You just for, try That's for the so first time. Funny. What is? Like me and uh, Vash were laughing at that. So his mother is like a servant for this family? I, I believe. Sebastian. Sebastian! Who is this boy you bring here looking like a wet fowl? <laughs> what name did Christian you? I'm Gilbert. Where are you from? Prince Edward Island. Canada. They don't feed you on that boat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all. Is he stealing? No, Dudu. Remember Jesus said, 
We have to help people. The men just hungry. If you come here again, you're looking for trouble. She has to be like that in front of the kid. Hmm. This is medicine. And I wish I was sick every single day. Glad to see you're enjoying the fruits of slave labor. I thought slavery ended here over 50 years ago. My family never left that plantation. Why does it have to be so sad? At least it's giving Gil like a, a new perspective on things. Like, yeah. Crazy. What's Marilla doing? I think she's trying to look really good. Like trying to look nice. Are you saying she looks really good? She's doing something different with her hair, I think. Hmm, I like that. Looking like a short-haired model. George, George Washington haircut. Is it ugly, the gold mines? It will be. Well, well, <laughs> He's like, what? We haven't decided yet. <laughs> he looks so awfully lonely. I think he's more sad and handsome than lonely. There's no boy more sad and handsome than Gilbert Blythe. <laughs> the drawing was exquisite. It brought Camelot to life. And plus, Billy Andrews is a barbarian. I have strawberry tarts to share. May we join you? All right. Not many words out of Cole. We're making friends with Cole. Ruby. That girl. <laughs> strawberry tart. Strawberry is my favorite. Thank you. I wouldn't go over unless the strawberry tarts. Why, of course, Percy. I'd love to join you and the older girls no. for lunch. Not talking to anyone. Why didn't she just go over? Too much pride. Chat. Mr. Cover, look. I read English. Nice. Sorry. Uh, uh, I do play now. Say something, Matt. <laughs> what? Come on, he thinks you're mad. <laughs> You are psyching yourself out and with an E. I just survived the most harrowing experience. Mm -hmm. I believe a terrifyingly evil curse has befallen Avonlea. It's Nate and his gold, which is just dirt that he looked at. I call my story The Haunted Dow. The most shuddersome tale. <laughs> I don't want to hear this. <laughs> They're terrified. Little girl. Uh oh. Felt dark force. It's gonna be Derry. Who? Derry. <laughs> don't look at an animal. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh, they A will fox? kill you. A fox. A red fox for a red-haired girl. Hello. That's like follow me. That was so cute. They are dangerous though. Rainbow. Mr. Dunlop being evil. A rapturous encounter with a forest creature. What's wrong? <laughs> Here we That's go. Such a good actor. But on his performance. Aunt Beatrice. Sick in the head. There is a sizable inheritance, but it is of little comfort. I am truly alone. You're not alone. You have us. We're little Me. sister. Little sister, remember? Oh, goodness, goodness. This guy might not be redeemable. Mm -mm. He might just be as bad. I'd like you to have this. Whoa. Cherish this always. Thank you. Is there a negative about that pen? It's the one that stuns you. <laughs> <laughs> the tracking you. device. Ah, 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 ah. Old Matty Cuddy. 
Dude, if I get- if- if we see Matt Cuthbert in a fist fight during this show, I'll lose my mind. What happened to that thing? It's fisty that, cuffs, that's, not a fist that, fight. That's the thing that she smashed against Gilbert's cuff. face. It's like her, her, her whiteboard or Chalkboard whatever. thing. Chalkboard. For school. Remember she- Well, we thought, William and I, that there should be a less formal gathering where people of Avonlea can talk things out. That's a splendid idea. Mm. The Bears have decided to host a big party. Oh my gosh, Mr. Barry's getting swindled hard. It's a rather frivolous affair. <laughs> well, perhaps, but it might help you and Matthew to make mm. a decision one way or another. <laughs> He's like, wow, I have a bad feeling about these people. And Marilla likes one of them. <laughs> Eliza, I've invited a few more guests, if you could make arrangements accordingly. Exactly how many? I just realized that made by magic Diana's parents have an accent, huh? I'm so confused. Yeah. They have like a British accent. And they're wealthy. And she doesn't. They must have moved here. Please take me with you. You've <laughs> proven yourself old enough to stay home alone. Not afraid of the dark, are you? Not really. <laughs> $150. Dollars, very large sum of money. Quite a lot of Sunday service dimes. <laughs> Jeez. 150 is like freaking 150 grand. No, that's not true. I truly selfless act you might inspire the church to counsel other parishioners on the benefits of your offer. A righteous agreement, gentlemen. Yeah, I feel like Diana's family is going to get especially swindled because he, he volunteered to like help other people pay the 150 to get the testing. What can I do for you? Any man. That's her. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. He plays a good piano. I didn't know y'all were cool like that. Huh? I didn't know you guys were cool like that. Reach ya. You look lovely this evening, Ron. Your hairstyle suits you. Thanks. I like Rachel low-key now. She's warmed up to me a bit. She had a rough really, start. Really yeah. banking on uh banking on Bang and Nate. Wow. And that's fine. Our feet may wander far, far away. Dude. Dunla! You're gonna like, make me float. I can't tell if this guy <laughs> is like a little bit of a sweetheart in there or if he's just that deep into character <laughs> like i really he's don't know doctor. <laughs> he's such a goofy guy <laughs> <laughs> like do you think when him and nate like planned out like their characters he was like yeah i'm gonna be the one that like sings and, and stuff and like <laughs> and bakes with them and like wins their hearts over Man, I have no sense of moderation. <laughs> Dude's housing those lemon things. <laughs> oh my. Thomas. That's Rachel's husband, yourself? right? Mm -hmm. This gold business, eh? Oh, exciting. Don't you shake hands on William's offer until you've heard mine. Thomas, as your closer neighbor in geography as well as rich. What's going on? Gold testing. If you can't or won't part with the money up front. Small stake in your claim. Same offer, smaller stake. I don't seek to profit. I just mean to lessen your financial. He's just trying to eat some cookies. I will take the matter up with my wife. Smart man. Never uh, make such a bold decision on my own. Mm -hmm. <laughs> take some notes, boys. Happy wife. Happy life. Happy life recently inherited some money and the first thing I plan to do is buy land in Avenue. <laughs> what are you what are you doing? Plan to do is test my soil. <laughs> yeah, I'll take this. Your house is filled with things almost as pretty as you. <laughs> Mini May? With a kick. What? That didn't hurt. Oh. It's the ghosts, Clearly. the skeleton hands of the white witch. 
queen. What if I paid the $150 for you out of my inheritance? It's the least I could do to thank you, and especially Anne, for welcoming me not only into your home, but your lives. We couldn't possibly have <clears throat> What are we talking about? <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? What is wrong with him? We should get home to Anne before she conjures herself a nervous breakdown. And I'll thank you, Mr. Don. I don't think Matt has said anything this whole episode. He's, he's thinking. He's just walking around. He's observing. He's seeing the truth. An inheritance? Buying land? He's freestyling. What the hell? I'm shoring up the grift. You're sprung. No, maybe Dunlop can make a home here. Okay. Jonesy killed five guys, cheated in cards. Oh, wow. Scuffled his boots. Sure thing, Looney, you fit right in. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Do you want to come out of the front? I'm the scared one. How many tests are you underwriting? My aunt Josephine. She is not the manager of our finances, and neither are you. Ooh. You and the girls shall get everything your hearts desire. Yeah. Leave it all to me. Hmm. He's gonna lose all their money, dude. I feel bad. And I kind of want him to. Mm. Just for his sake. Go for heaven's sake, Matt. <laughs> We've only just settled up with the bank. $150. That's quite a bit. And Mr. Dunlop, his offer is, is a generous one, but it doesn't feel right. You're a smart man, Matt. Come on. And if so, it'll keep. But I want us to give Anne a farm. Yeah. A whole one. And she can mine it after we're gone. That's her decision. I agree. What a and beautiful man. Yeah. I want to... Give him a head pat right now. <laughs> like with a headbutt? Uh, like rub his hair and stuff. Uh, Matthew Cuthbert has my heart, bro. I think it's time you best be getting to sleep. I think he's going to go nuts. What? What did you say? He's going to go nuts? Run that back? <laughs> yeah, like he's going to beat the shit out of these fellas. Like he wants her to get some sleep. They haven't worn, done anything that he would do that to. In you think he's to. Batman? He wouldn't win the fight. <laughs> you know, 1v2 the guys that are half his age? And what led you to that was him going, and you should go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Close them eyes. It's going to get dangerous <laughs> around here. <laughs> I feel like we'll be crocking cool forever. I felt trapped in Avonlea. If I go back home, I may never be able to leave. Some of us, I have no home. Perspective, Gilbert. That's what you're getting here. Big bash home. Run that place. That looks cool, bro. Ooh. Dude, that fucked up a lot of his paper, not just one piece. But he could do like a Bob Ross and do like a beautiful mistake or whatever and like use that to make something beautiful. Oh, he's drawing Anne, the freckles. Oh, it's it's the freckles. Yeah. These boys are out here thinking about Anne, dude. Wow, that's a really good drawing. So good. good Jerry, Gilbert, Anne now. Cool, like Anne. I don't know about Jerry. I feel like Jerry and Anne might just be like a bro and sis kind of thing. Yeah. Ah, Matthew's just like the coolest guy ever. He's all, he's just looking out for the kids. He just thinks only for the kids. This is the type of upbeat stuff we need. Heartwarming. And then it's gonna end with the two villains like <laughs> Come on, Ann, you gotta see that. Oh. No, no, no. What happened? And the ink fell out. Ink spilled. Is that bad? It's a waste. Did I get a new paper? More ink? Man, I hate when that happens. On with an E! What an episode. That was uh, something. I, I mean, these swindlers are continuing to swindle. This gold is not existent. We saw it. It is just quite literally dirt. No gold. Um, 
and Diana's dad is just full throttle this thing. Like he is buying everyone's portion, um, just 150 bucks times six probably. And Do that math. 900. 900. Let's go. Thanks. Keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> 900 bucks i mean this guy is gonna lose everything unless ann or matthew puts a stop to this and marilla's just striking out like come on i really like the decision though that matthew and marilla have made they decided that they are not gonna dig up for the gold they're gonna keep the farm the way that it is because they want to be able to give ann like a full farm like they don't want it already ruined by the time that she inherits it Sorry, when, gonna, they're, when a, they're gone it's gonna be Anne's farm now like that decision was made that's pretty cool she's gonna have her own imagination to do whatever she wants with it. but yeah even like when she inherits it th if there is gold there it'll still be there whenever she gets it so if she decides that she wants to dig it up she can but that's just their thought process because there's not actually gold there so she's not ever gonna dig it up there's it's no just proof just a matter of time until somebody figures him out and i think it's gonna be matthew and ann they're gonna put the pieces together nate is giving them no proof about the gold he hasn't even showed them he says he's found gold and not shown the any. certificate from new york yeah that's all he said we got like a more proper introduction to bash this episode sebastian yeah the guy that works with gilbert on the boat and we got to see his home, which is Trinidad. Very sad, there's still enslaved people there, which Gilbert thought wasn't even a thing anymore. But like, and one of them being his mother, works at this house with, you know, a, looks like a wealthy white family and she had to act completely different whenever the kid came out and just, I mean, he wasn't even allowed to be there. Like, it's, it's sad, she never left. And that's his like, I mean, that's his memory of his mother, like, she, she that's what she does it, like it's probably horrible to think about like your mother and just like that's what she's doing every day mm -hmm. so it was it was a big eye-opener for gilbert and for me as a viewer too i didn't know that he, he had that going on in his life at this time honestly so honestly i really hope that gilbert brings him and maybe even a few of the other guys back to avonlea because we know he doesn't have many people back home because his his dad died and he didn't have his siblings or mom at home so it'd be cool if they came back it'd also be great because i think they would sniff out nate's bullshit immediately as well and those are two fighters probably right there Heck i'm yeah. guessing bash could fight so but also mr dunlop seems like he's kind of leaning a little bit he wants to actually buy land yeah dunlop jonesy that's his He's real alias. Five people. That's insane. He does not see. He is playing the character very well. He seems like a sweetheart, but he's a savage in a past life. So, we also got introduced to a new kid, Cole. Yeah. This episode, we haven't seen him before. Uh, I have seen people say his name in the comments before and be like, "I can't wait till Cole arrives." So. I, I'm I'm hoping that he continues to be cool. I already like his drawings. They're mm -hmm. already really, really sweet. And you can tell that I, he's already into Anne, I think. He he had like the little dots on the, the his paper and he envisioned Anne's face and like drew her. So I, I can see like Gilbert coming back and there's like a strange love triangle between mm -hmm. her, Cole, and Gilbert. That'd be funny. All right, guys, that's pretty much it, though, for this episode. If you guys enjoyed our reaction, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our links in the description. We got our Patreon, Discord, social medias, and the address to our PO box. But yeah, we'll catch you guys next time for Season 2, Episode 3 of Anne with an E. Peace out.